Are you moving to the Fort Lauderdale area and new construction is what you want? Stay tuned, I've got you covered. Hi, Scott Newbrecht here with Costelli Real Estate Services in Fort Lauderdale. Join me today while I tour the Pulte built community of Oak Tree and it starts right now. Welcome to the Leland Model townhomes at Oak Tree. These are three bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage, 1,875 square feet, starting at 433,990. Now, as you enter the home, you see the stairway to the second level on the right. And on the left, as you make your way in, is the half bath guest bathroom. Nice tile floor. And check out this door with the etched glass. You can't see through it, it's great. And that big window filling the whole entryway up with light. And the first thing as you enter the home that strikes me is, wow, look at this open floor plan. Great for entertaining. Now, definitely the kitchen is the focal point of entertainment for this home. I mean, just amazing, right? Oh, and look at the light in, that's let into the home. I mean, large windows, the large sliding glass doors, beautiful. I love center islands. Look at the luxurious dark wood cabinetry, the quartz countertops, and you have to mention the double sinks and the gooseneck faucet. It makes work in the kitchen so much easier. I love this extra, extra space here. More cabinet space, other places for your appliances, and check out the detail in that backsplash. I love it. Stainless steel Whirlpool appliances throughout. Nice glass top stove, uh, Whirlpool, microwave, and again, I can't say it enough, I just love the amount of light that is coming into this home to just fill it up. It's just wonderful. And look at this, it looks like 18 inch tile floors throughout the ground floor. And all the windows are storm rated, of course, we are here in South Florida, so they are storm rated. And just look at the detail on these walls, it gives such a nice dimension. Uh, to the entire room. I love that. It's great. And my favorite, I love recessed lighting. It is my favorite. There are no dark spaces on this ground floor at night for sure. Now follow me. Let's go to the back of the kitchen area. And on the left here, we've got a nice large pantry. And then on the right, an another large extra storage space. Good for putting everything you need and a two car garage with plenty of room for more storage. Um, no more hot cars. This is a great benefit. I love having a garage in South Florida. And as we move across the living room area, I want to point out this extra spacious storage closet. You could get your Christmas tree in here, you could put decorations, your vacuum, whatever. We need as much storage space as we can get. And that is an extra bonus right there. Now let's head on upstairs. Okay, so as you enter upstairs, this is a three bedroom town home, by the way. As we enter, I really like this idea and I see it a lot in new homes. It's an area on the second level, just you know, for a workstation or something like that. Very well thought out, I love that. And now we enter the master suite, en suite. And this is a queen size bed. So you can kind of tell just from knowing what a queen size bed is, the space involved here. And this is kind of cool. They've got it designed as just kind of a little sitting chair and nook area with some like bookcases or whatever. You can do whatever you want, obviously, but that's a neat idea. And then beautiful glass shower and his and her sinks. Beautiful countertops. Looks like the quartz. Again, more beautiful wood cabinetry, which is also an upgrade. And then, I always love this idea, a separate little area for the potty. 
which is nice, with a door. Very nice. And then just take a look at the beautiful, shiny, oh, there we go, beautiful shiny tile work. And then the, and then the detail here, the little in, inlaid tiles. That's for a nice touch. A little recessed area for your toiletries or whatever you want in there, that's great. And very large closet. There's only one, but it's got quite a bit of space in here. It might be hard to tell from the camera. This second level is showing it carpeted, but I'm sure you could change that up if you so desired. And then as we get to the other side here, the two other bedrooms done very nice. A lot of light coming in through the large oversized windows. This is a full bed, it appears. So you can kind of see what kind of space is involved here. And then of course, over in the corner there, there is a closet. Eh, not huge, but oh well. And right here in between the two bedrooms, we have the laundry room. Great idea on the second level, and that, this is something I really love. It's kind of a utility sink to wash things out, very deep. Great idea, wish I had that in my house. And again, just a repeat of the beautiful, oversized, dark wood cabinets. And then, this is the other bedroom. It looks like it's about the same size. It's got a closet, same size as well. Very nice. And then the bathroom area. Beautiful detail. And a very large tub area in here as well. I just love new homes. Everything is, smells so new. The doors are beautiful, the fixtures are beautiful. And that is the Leland. Welcome to the Adirondack uh, floor plan. This has the same square footage as the Leland. It has the same floor plan, but it's flipped from the left to the right. Everything is upgraded in this model. The appliances are stainless steel, kitchen chef. You will see in just a second that the second floor has a slightly different floor plan and we'll get up there in just a second. Um, here's another view of the stainless steel kitchen chef appliances. And then notice the backsplash here. A little different than on the other side. As we head upstairs, you'll notice on this model, there is no common area at the top of the stairs here like in the Leland. It just goes right into the hallway. So as we take a left here and go into the master, just notice the rustic wood detailing on the wall there. Just adds some dimension, nice lighting. And in the master bathroom here, just take a look at that cool window, letting light into the bathroom. A beautiful glass shower. Um, we've got upgraded hardware and cabinets for the his and her sinks and just a lovely soaking tub also. Really neat. Love this. Different configuration. And of course the walk-in closets. This one looks like it could be a little smaller. I'm not sure but still plenty of space for the clothes. As we exit the master, I want to point out the oversized eight-foot doors. Gives that glamorous feeling for sure. Laundry room, second floor, a little different configuration. Oversized cabinets and still have the utility sink there. Just a little different configuration. Let's walk down the hallway here, take a look at the first bedroom on the right. I love the double windows in the corner. It really fills this room up with light. Looks like that room could be a little smaller than the other model. Still very nice. The shared bathroom. Again, upgraded cabinets, countertops. 
And this is laid out a little differently, but still a very nice bathroom for the two bedrooms to share for sure. Let's move on into the last bedroom here. Very nice space, large window, fills up the room with light. And what I like about this particular room is the closet space. It is extra large and it has a window. Fill it up with light. Very cool. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, as always, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, see ya.